Hello, my name is Danielle Scarmolino, and I work for New Visions for Public Schools as a part of the New Visions Cloud Lab. The New Visions Cloud Lab is an approach to problem solving that leverages systems thinking and design to support educators in identifying how effort, communication, and information can be better organized for the work of schools. Our approach focuses on the use of free cloud-based technologies to strengthen work processes within our network of 76 New York City public high schools. To that end, New Visions has made a significant investment in supporting the rollout of Google Apps for Education across our network. This work has entailed each of our schools establishing their own Google Apps domains and provisioning Google Apps accounts to staff and in some cases to students. The transition to Google Apps and the adoption of Google Docs means that school staff and students have incredible flexibility in both the content they create on the school's domain as well as how that content is shared. It also means that many documents with student data are now being stored in the cloud. Implementing Google Apps responsibly requires that school leaders institute clear policies regarding the type of content that is appropriate to be shared and ensure that users understand basic do's and don'ts around content sharing so that only the right people are granted access. It also requires that school leaders put protocols in place to catch policy violations when they do occur so corrective action can be taken quickly. To that end, New Visions has purchased a third-party product called CloudLock for our own domain and for each of our schools. CloudLock provides school leaders the ability to peer into user activity in Google Drive, Docs, and Sites and flag compliance violations. The purpose of this video is to outline how CloudLock can be used to audit and manage user behavior in, Go in Google Apps. Specifically, we will review how to configure the CloudLock policy engine to flag content and sharing violations and automate follow-up actions. Our CloudLock policy recommendations focus on several key compliance violations, the most important of which, from our perspective, is the exposure of student-level data in ways that fall out of compliance with FERPA, the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, which is the central federal law that protects the privacy of student educational records. For those of you who haven't seen our video, Guiding Principles for Sharing Google Docs with Student Data, please check it out on our website, cloudlab.newvisions.org. This video provides a comprehensive overview of best practices for sharing student data in the context of Google Apps in a way that is FERPA compliant. Another key resource New Visions has created is a spreadsheet-based tool called the NVPS Google Domain Self-Audit Tool. If you are a New Visions tech liaison or school leader, you should already be shared on your school's self-audit tool. Log into Google Drive and search Domain Self-Audit, or look inside your Google Systems folder or in the Leadership Share folder. I recommend pausing the video here and opening your Domain Self-Audit tool in another browser so you can follow along. Once you open the Domain Self-Audit tool, click on the Apps Control Panel tab. Here you will find a list of 70 plus domain setting recommendations from New Visions, a description of each recommendation, priority status, and a link directly to that area of your Google Apps admin console where the setting is located. There is also an area where you can indicate the status of each checkpoint and an area where the tech liaison and principal can initial. If you have not done so already, make sure you review each of the high priority checkpoints indicated in column K. This is your way of documenting that your school has done its due diligence in the setup of its domain. This tool is also a nice way of organizing the conversation with your school leaders so that the risks associated with the transition to Google Apps is understood and shared across the leadership team. Next, click on the Recommended CloudLock Policies tab. Here you will find the details for each of the six CloudLock policies we are recommending. Each column from B to G includes the settings for a single policy with column A representing the exact fields that need to be entered when you create a new policy in CloudLock. But before we jump into CloudLock, let's take a moment to review the key components and rationale for each policy. The first policy reports and reverses sharing on any document containing student OSIS numbers that are made accessible to anyone on the web or anyone on the domain. When this policy is implemented, CloudLock will scan all the documents on your domain and apply two filters. First, it will apply a sharing criteria to look for just those documents that fall under public or domain-wide exposures. These are documents with the visibility options, public on the web, anyone with the link, anyone on the domain, or anyone on the domain with the link. Second, it will use something called a regular expression to flag only those documents that contain OSIS numbers. Next, it will automatically remove sharing on those documents 
and notify the document owners of the actions that were taken. The second policy applies similar sharing criteria with a few additions. This policy filters for documents on your domain that are public on the web, shared with external users, accessible to anyone on the domain, or shared specifically with users in the student organizational unit. Next, it applies a content filter that will flag only those documents containing obscene content. Last, it will automatically remove sharing on those documents and notify the document owners of the actions that were taken. The third policy applies ownership and sharing criteria to filter for documents that are owned by staff and shared with students. It also uses the same regular expression from Policy 1 to flag just those documents containing student OSIS numbers. This policy does not automate sharing reversals because there may be cases where this type of sharing is warranted. A teacher, for example, sharing a student progress report or course transcript with a specific student. But what happens if the teacher inadvertently shares the transcript with the wrong student? This policy sends a daily email reminder to staff with a list of all the documents they own that are shared with students and contain OSIS numbers. This way staff can quickly identify and correct sharing errors if they occur. Like Policy 3, the fourth policy does not automatically reverse sharing. Instead, it automates daily emails to staff, prompting them to review a list of documents that may contain policy violations. It is then the responsibility of staff to take action accordingly. In this case, CloudLock is filtering for documents that are externally exposed and contain student OSIS numbers. Documents that are shared outside your domain generally fall into three categories. There are documents shared with New Vision staff members, documents shared with other Google Apps users, and documents shared with non-Google Apps commercial Google accounts. This policy is set up to ignore any documents that are shared with newvisions.org accounts because you can be confident that these shares are FERPA compliant. From a technical perspective, this is accomplished by adding the newvisions.org domain to the sharing whitelist when creating the policy. That leaves the documents that are shared with other Google Apps users and commercial Google accounts. As a guiding principle, New Visions recommends that documents with student data only be shared with individuals who have FERPA-compliant Google Apps accounts and a legitimate purpose for accessing your students' data. New Visions also strongly discourages the sharing of student data with commercial Google accounts. These are at gmail.com accounts or other email accounts that have been linked to a Google account, even if the owners of those accounts have a legitimate purpose for accessing students' data. This is because the terms of service of commercial Google accounts, unlike school provisioned Google Apps accounts, do not clearly establish Google's role in complying with its obligation to protect student data under FERPA. It is the responsibility of staff members to review the list of documents that are flagged by this policy and reverse sharing on any documents that fall out of compliance. The fifth policy is the first of two policies that focus both on Google Documents and Sites. This policy uses a time criteria to flag only documents that have been modified within a particular window and sends a daily notification email to the CloudLock administrator with a summary report of web published documents or sites that have been modified in the last seven days. This allows you as a school leader to keep tabs on your school's web presence and to ensure that content on any public or parent-facing Google site is regularly updated. The sixth and last policy is an optional recommendation we provide for schools that would like to add an additional level of granularity to how they monitor student activity in Google Apps. This policy sends a daily notification email to the CloudLock administrator or any other school leader of your choosing with a summary report of documents or sites owned by students that are public on the web, shared externally, or accessible to anyone on the domain. This policy gives you the ability to peer into student-owned content that is accessible to many people inside and outside of your domain, so you can identify and act on inappropriate activity as needed. Now that we have reviewed each of New Vision's recommendations, let's jump into CloudLock so you know how to create policies. To get to CloudLock, Log into your Google Apps Admin Console at admin.google.com. In the black menu bar, select More and then CloudLock. If you do not see CloudLock here, click on the tile icons to the left of your username in the top right-hand corner of the screen. If you still don't see CloudLock, email your systems point person at New Visions. 
Once in CloudLock, you will see your school's CloudLock dashboard containing a summary view of all the documents on your Google Apps domain broken into categories based on how they are shared. Any number on the dashboard can be selected to drill down to document lists where you can apply additional filters, view document collaborators, and manually perform actions on documents. To access the CloudLock Policy Engine, select the Policy Engine option from the left-hand navigation panel. This will load your policy list, where you can see any policies you have already created, along with the number of documents and sites flagged by each policy on the last scan. To create a new policy, click Add. This will open the Policy Creation screen. Here is where your Domain Self-Audit tool will come in handy. Remember, column A of the Recommended CloudLock Policies tab in your Self-Audit tool maps exactly to the fields in the Policy Creation screen. Copy and paste the content from the Self-Audit tool, and make sure you click the Save button on the bottom of the policy before exiting. It is important to note here that for policies that automate sharing reversals, there is an additional step to the initial setup process. If you are creating the policy for the first time, the Remove Sharing option will be grayed out and you will not be able to select it. This is because CloudLock wants you to save the policy and run a full scan to see which documents are flagged by the policy before you automate the reversal of sharing and potentially disrupt the workflow of many users. This provides a check to ensure that the policy is performing the way you would expect it. The thing you need to be careful of is that you remember to come back after the scan has completed to add your sharing reversal selections and then resaving the policy. Make sure you do this for Policy 1 and Policy 2. Got it? If not, don't worry, it's okay. Just reach out to your Google Systems point person at New Visions and we'd be happy to help. Now let's jump into your CloudLock settings to tie up any loose ends. Back on the dashboard, click the setting option in the left-hand navigation panel. In general settings, you should see a blue account status bar that indicate your domain is a paid account and currently active. New Visions has purchased CloudLock for our schools for the school year 2013-2014. You should also see both your user account as well as your principals listed under Manage CloudLock Users. If you do not see your principal's account, be sure to add him or her as a CloudLock administrator. Last, make sure that the New York time zone has been selected. In Scan Settings, make sure your scan scope is set to scan all domains and organizational units. Under Authentication, you should see the Super Admin's email and password. Scan should be set to run every day in the middle of the night, let's say 1 a.m., and the discovery of published documents should be enabled. If you ever want to manually kick off a new scan, you can select the Update Now button at the top of the page. If this is your first time setting up CloudLock, go ahead and kick off a manual scan now. In Policy Engine settings, make sure your policy actions are set to occur every morning right when staff and students first get to school, let's say 7 a.m. This is because we want the policy notification emails to be right at the top of each user's inbox. To review, if you have configured CloudLock according to these guidelines, this means that your daily scans will start at 1 a.m. and depending on the number of documents on your domain, will complete sometime in the middle of the night. Then at 7 a.m., policy actions will be triggered, which will send email notifications to users and perform sharing reversals. Thank you for taking the time to learn about CloudLock and our recommendations for its implementation at your school. If you haven't already, please set aside some time to configure your policy engine and complete the high priority items in the Apps Control Panel tab of your Domain Self Audit tool. At New Visions, we are committed to supporting you develop the technical skills and knowledge to implement Google Apps responsibly so please do not hesitate to reach out to your Google Systems point person with any questions. Thank you for watching.